Hey, what's up? How you guys doing out there? It's me, Eric Ferris, your host here on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I want to talk to you guys about something that I just did recently. Previously, I had Time Warner servers for my cable, for everything, my TV, my phone, all of it through Time Warner. These guys could never really provide me very good internet service. The rest of it was okay. My phone was kind of clickety-clack all the time. Friends of mine came over, always talked about their Verizon stuff and their TV was way better. So I finally just said, hey, fuck it. I gave up. I made the switch. Now, I want to say right now, I'm not being paid by these guys. This is not a commercial or anything else. I'm just letting you guys know my experience with it. And so far, it's been pretty cool. So check it out. I was able to get for $135 a month a digital package with all their cable stuff, 3535 internet, and phone service, all in one package. Now, the thing that's really surprised me the most is the changes. First of all, my internet speeds are much faster. Behind me on the screen back here, I have the speeds. I'm getting 42 download and about 32 upload. Sometimes the upload's a little bit better, and also depending on the browser, this makes a difference. Google Chrome actually is the fastest browser. Everything that I test in Google Chrome always has the first fastest. After that comes the Firefox, and then Safari. Wow, Safari sucks. I feel sorry for my Mac friends who stick with that Safari shit because that's a crappy one. That's the worst one. Speeds actually slow down to like half using that browser. That's just amazing. So maybe you don't know that using a browser can make that much of a difference, but hey, it actually does. So these are the benefits I've seen so far. Another thing, games. I go to download a game off Steam, man. Let me tell you something. Before, I'd be sitting, 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 looking at like, you know, 1.1, 1.1. Now, I go and download a game. It says like 4.5. Five megabytes a second so downloading a game is almost like that quick now it's just unbelievable how fast it is when I go out and I start scrolling through my TV channels all of my channels are much clearer, and I have an abundance more of channels to view so that's way cooler I've got movie channels I've got sports channels I've got all that shit I've got some supreme gold package you know what I'm saying and my phone Always previous in the past, my phone had a clickety clack. Did I be on it? It'd be like clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. Maybe it was like the IRS wiretap me or some sort of shit. That's why I changed the service. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that sounds funny, though, anyways. Now when I talk on my phone, it's like crystal clear. It's like I'm talking to the person right next to them. But so far, my experience actually has all been pretty positive. Now, there are a couple of negative things. For one thing, when you get your internet box and the guy comes over and he tries to tell you all this stuff to set up your home network, he's going to give you a bunch of passcodes and stuff stuff that are totally irrelevant. Make sure that if you have the guy come out to your house that he sets up your wireless network himself so that you can create all of your own passcodes, all your own logins. Otherwise, the guy will leave and write a bunch of non-essential stuff on, which will get me to the next point that's negative. Phone service. Yeah, I waited for like 25 minutes on the phone holding for these fuckers when I wanted to get a hold of them for tech service. Once I got a hold of them, I got to say it's A plus service, but I was on hold a long time. Once I did get a hold of them, my entire network problem and everything I had resolved within like a couple of seconds. So everything's good. So I would say if you're out there in your area and you don't like your service at all, you have questions about it and you want a really good service, I got to say my experience from switching to Verizon Fios and the whole gold package of theirs has been a solid experience. So check out what I got. Once I pay three months of bills, these guys give you a $500 gift card, a Visa card. That's right. You pay 90 days worth of bills and they actually send you a card where you can go to the bank and get $500 out. I didn't even have to sign any contract whatsoever and I've got their super package at $130. So overall, personally, I'm very happy that I made the switch from Time Warner over to Verizon Cable. Some people may not give a shit about this at all, but for the people out there who have been thinking about switching and are like in the middle of the, you know, the kind of the teeter-totter going, fuck, should I do it? I would. I've done it. And I would never look back ever again. See you guys here on Tech of Tomorrow.